Hello, here it is, lesson 149 in phonics. <laughs> That's right, today's it. Today is the last day. It's our last day. You made it. Right hand man Bob and Humphrey have all come for the party today. It's a party. Are you ready? We've got balloons. We don't have any cake and ice cream, but we have our last paper. Today is the last day. <laughs> Get ready to party. Are you ready to finish well? I am ready also. You have done an amazing job. Not just an amazing job, a fantastic job, a wonderful job, a spectacular job. You have done it all. I am so proud of you. That's why I'm here to toot the horn. <laughs> Whoops, dang. There we go. To toot your horn that you are fantastic. I am so proud of you. Well, let's get these balloons out of the way so we can learn today. And guess what? Today we have a phonics test. So our phonics paper is super simple. We're not even going to put very much up on the board today. Because if you're paying attention, you've got this made in the shade. So grab your paper, grab a pencil. We're going to do a quick review. And we have another little quick review. I need you to be ready to stomp feet or run in place. So are you ready? Okay. So your paper today should look like this. Okay. It should have some Grand Canyon on it. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Lay it aside for a minute and get ready. We are going to, first of all, give you some sentences after we do the spelling. Mrs. Craft is so excited about being the last day. I forgot about spelling. Hey, today is a spelling test day too. Did you remember? Maybe you took your spelling test yesterday and got 100%. <laughs> Yay! That's right. If you got 100% on your pretest, you don't have to take it today. You're done with that. But in case not, let's review real quick our spelling words because today there'll be a video with a spelling test on it. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Beach, B-E-A-C-H, beach, crab. Those two crabbies. C-R-A-B, crab. Spray. S-P-R-A-Y, spray. Bucket. B-U-C-K-E-T, bucket. Dock. D-O-C-K, dock. Sunscreen. S-U-N-S-C-R-E-E-N, sunscreen. Sailboat. S-A-I-L-B-O-A-T, sailboat. Water, W-A-T-E, water. Jellyfish, J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-S-H, jellyfish. Shark, shark, S-H-A-R-K, shark. Shell, S-H-E-L-L, shell. Sky, S-K-Y, sky. Sea, S-E-A-C, sand. S-A-N-D, sand. One more. Coast. C-O-A-S-T, coast. The land by the sea. Those words are so easy. I'm looking for 100% from a lot of you. Can you give me 100% today? I hope you can. Okay. So right now, though, we're going to move on to phonics, and I want you to get ready. You're either going to run in place or you're going to stomp your feet, okay? So listen close. If the sentence is correct, I want you to run in place. And so if it's right, what are you going to do? Run in place. If it's wrong, I want you to stomp your feet, okay? Are you ready? Stomp your feet. So if it's right, run in place, okay? Wrong, stomp your feet. Listen closely, okay? Here we go. Gabe's dog is smallest than Phil's dog. Gabe's dog is smallest than Phil's dog. Okay, if it's right, you're going to run in place. If it's wrong, you're going to stomp your feet. And what did you do? I hope you, I hope it is wrong. I hope you were stomping your feet. Smallest is not right. We're comparing Gabe's dog and Phil's dog. That's only two dogs. Remember, E-R, two letters, E-R. That's right. So that one was wrong. Did you get that? Okay, here we go. Remember, run in place if it's right. Stomp your feet if it's wrong. Maddie's hair is curlier than her sister's. Maddie's hair is curlier than her sister's. Right or wrong? Running in place if it's right. Stomping feet if it's wrong. And what did you do? 
I hope you ran in place. That's right, because we're talking about Maddie's hair and her sister's hair. Two people. E-R. Good job. Here's the next one. Okay, you get ready. Vanessa is the taller girl in her class. Vanessa is the taller girl in her class. Run in place if it's right. Stomp your feet if it's wrong. Okay, what did you do? Vanessa is the taller girl in her class. And the answer is stomping feet. It is not right. It said taller. We're comparing Vanessa and her class more than two people. That's right. So it should be tallest. If you stomped feet, you are correct. Okay, here's the next one. Is Liam's poem longer than Sean's? Is Liam's poem longer than Sean's? If it's right, run in place. If it's wrong, stomp your feet. Okay, is Liam's poem longer than Sean's? If it's right, run in place. If it's wrong, stomp your feet. And what did you do today? That's right, you should be running in place. Liam and Sean, two people. That's right, longer, two people. Last one. Are you ready? Whew. Is dad's car or Uncle Mark's car oldest? Is dad's car or Uncle Mark's car oldest? Remember, if it's right, run in place. If it's wrong, stomp those feet. Okay. Is dad's car or Uncle Mark's car oldest? And the answer is you should have stomped your feet. We're not talking about more than one, more than three cars. We're talking about just two dads and Uncle Mark's. It should have been older. Did you get all those right? I hope you did. Nice job if you did. Okay, we're going to do some review on some special sounds. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I hope there's enough for everybody. Mrs. Craft actually didn't count, but we'll, we'll run with it. Are you ready? Here we go. Calvin, this one says, I and night. Good job. Adeline, not O and go, no. Okay, right. Uh in shovel. Okay, Caleb. Ow in out. Yeah, it's not ow in country. Uh in country. It's ow and out. Good job. Hunter. R in, not R in stars. What's the other one? R in dollar. Er, er, er in dollar. That's right. Okay, here we go. Um, Benjamin. Er in. Not or in morning, or in, that's right, or in sailor. Good job. Okay, Kendall, this one's yours. Jutton, Jutton giant. She knew that one. Okay, maybe I'm going too fast, but you know these sounds. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Ella, Ian, this can't be Ian Rainey because it doesn't have the hyphen. Ian, baby, nice work. Okay, here's next one, Layla. Oh, in, yeah. Uh, and push, push. Okay, Lucas. Ch in, ch in, uh huh? Ch in patch. Remember, it's after a short sound. We have a short A. Ch in patch. Good job. Okay, Brady. Ch in, ch in ship. Uh huh. And Cullen. Cut in. Chorus. Uh huh. That's right. Okay. Ian, oh, I always told you this answer. Madison, I just gave you a freebie. Madison, what is this one? Ian Brownie, that's right, Ian Brownie, nice job. And Quinn, are you ready for the next one? Are you ready, Quinn? Okay. Oh, I just did it again. This has to be my last day. I'm going crazy. In case you couldn't tell, I'm wearing the same clothes because I've done three videos in a row. Oh, Mrs. Craft, my mind is, this is the last video I'm going to do today. Okay, Quinn. Whoop. Okay, hey Quinn, this one's yours. Can you tell us what it is? It's ch in church, that's right. And Abel, what's this one? Nin, nin not, good job. Oh, we made it through, Mrs. Craft. I'm so excited about being our last day. You guys have worked so hard. I'm so proud of you, mom, dads, grandmas, nanas, paps, pars, everybody who's helped you. Okay. You just keep it up today. You got to make it all the way through. We got a lot of things to do today. I want you to find for me an orange crayon, a brown crayon, and a gold crayon. Okay. Orange, brown, and gold. Okay. Can you find those? Hit the pause button when you find it. Okay. Here's what our directions say for today. It says, layers of rock make the walls of the Grand Canyon look like stripes. At the very bottom of the canyon is the Colorado River. 
color the stripe on the Grand Canyon wall orange if the word is spelled correctly. Now, Mrs. Kraft does not have an orange Expo marker. So I'm using this light brown. Okay, but you're going to color words spelled correctly, right, orange. Color the words brown if they are incorrect. That means if they're not spelled right. We just went through the phonics sounds that are in today's paper. That's right. Color the stripe gold if there's no word. I don't have a gold marker. So if there's no word on that stripe, what color are you going to color it? Gold. Let's start right up here at the top. Okay, Roman, you're going to start for us. This word right here is cloud. Is it spelled correct? C-L-O-W-D. I have people shaking their heads. Which way are they shaking their heads? Are they shaking up and down? That's right. Or are they shaking? No, that's wrong. Roman, what do you say? It is not right. It should be out in out. So cloud is not right. So we're going to color it dark brown. Okay. Can you color yours brown? Why color mine brown? Color neatly. Stay within those lines. Okay. So the first one should be colored brown. Okay. Is yours color brown? If you need more time, hit the pause button. Okay. Let's go up to Adeline. Adeline, the next word underneath it is field. Field. Is field spelled right? It is spelled F-I-E-L-D. What is, how do we spell E and brownie? Mm -hmm. I-E. So this one is spelled correct. So because it's correct, you're going to use your orange crayon. This is Mrs. Kraft's orange. So do your best job and color that orange, okay? Caleb, you're next. Caleb, the next word is knife. Can you see that? N-I-F-E. Is that how we spell knife? Is that the n roar rule? We have two special sounds that say n. Ninat, n knife. How do we spell that n knife? K-N. So that one is not spelled correctly. So I'm going to get my brown again. Good job, Caleb. Color that stripe brown. Okay. Now, because I don't have a, a gold, I'm going to use red. Okay. The next one has no words. So remember when it has no words, what you're going to do? You're going to color it gold. I'm using red. Okay. Color it gold. Did you get that? Okay. So do you understand what to do on this paper? If it's correct, color it orange. If it's wrong, color it brown. If there's no words at all, color it gold. Don't color it red like Mrs. Kraft. And you're going to continue that on this side all the way down to the bottom. Okay. You got that? Great. Now we're going to do the back. Okay. So flip it over to the back. We're going to give you some freebies. Who doesn't love a freebie? This is Kraft's eraser. I have to erase mine because otherwise it smears all over my book. Okay, are you ready? On the back, it says, verbs that tell us about something that has already happened are called past tense. We worked on those yesterday. Walk, walked. Eat, ate. That's right. Some of them change. So today, you are going to take the word that's in the parentheses and make a past tense. Let's read the first one together. The snowman melt in yesterday's warm sun. The snowman melted. Okay, so let's do the next one, Hunter. Max and Zoe share an apple for a snack. I need to make a past tense. They already did it. Share is going to turn into, that's right, we're just going to put ED, but we're going to drop that silent E and write shared. Hunter, nice job. Shared. Okay, did you get that? Okay, Ben, we're going to do a couple more. Should we just do the rest of this one? Sure. Uh, my little brother blow out his birthday candles. It's already happened. Okay, Ben, so how am I, what am I going to put? My little brother, it's already happened. Blowed isn't a word, so what's the word? Blue, that's right, blue. That's one of those ones that has to change. Blue, good job, blue. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, Kendall, this one's yours. Riley, jump 
into the puddle and splash water all over me. You actually have two. How about you do the first one, Ella, you do the second one, okay? Riley, jump is going to turn into jumped. That's right. It already happened. Nice job, Kendall. And let's have Ella finish this up. Riley jumped into the puddle and splashed water all over me. Ella, what's it going to be? That's right. It's going to be splashed. We're going to add ED on the end. Look at that. We already have this whole thing done. Remember? It's the last day. That's right. We have to keep working. Keep pressing on. That's right. So you should have jumped and splashed. Good job. Are your writing nice and neat? I hope so. Let's go down and do a review. We're going to review about lie and lay and may and can and learn and teach. Okay, listen closely. You read along your paper while I read. Lie means to rest or recline. I'm going to lie down in my bed. Lay means to put something down. So Mrs. Craft is going to lay down my paper. May is to ask permission. And can shows ability and power. I can lift a brick. May I move that brick for you, please? Okay, permission or ability. Learn means to get knowledge and teach means to give knowledge. Okay, are you ready for the bottom? At the bottom, it says choose the best verb to finish each sentence. I say we do the whole thing. What do you say? You think it'd be a good idea? I do too. Okay, let's go with Layla. Layla, let's read our words. Teach and taught, learned and learn, can and lie, may and lay. Okay, Layla, at recess, I blank how to play Foursquare. At recess, I blank how to play Foursquare. Layla, what's your answer on that? That's right, I learned. At recess, I learned how to play Foursquare. Foursquare, Foursquare is a fun game, learned. Okay, let's keep going. My friends and I asked our teacher, blank, we use a playground ball. And this is going to be Lucas's turn. Lucas, my friends and I ask our teacher, blank, we use a playground ball. Now we need to ask permission. What about word were we going to say? If we're asking permission, we need to use can or may? Which one? May. That's right. May is asking permission. And we're going to make it actually a capital letter because it's the beginning of what we're saying to our teacher. Okay? It's in quotation marks. You'll learn about that in third grade. Let's go down to the next one. Okay, this one is going to be Brady. Brady, I blank hit the ball hard, but if I hit it too hard, I am out. <gasps> What's the ability one, Brady? Which one do I use for ability, may or can? I can. That's right. Nice job. Everybody's thinking very well today. Can. Okay, let's keep going. Once the ball rolled under a bush and I had to blank on my stomach to reach it. Okay, Kellen, am I going to lie on my stomach or am I going to lay on my stomach? Which one? Once the, the ball rolled under a bush and I had to lie or lay on my stomach to reach it. And the answer is, remember, lie is to rest. Lay is to put or place. What are you going to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're resting on your stomach. You are going to, did you get this one right? I hope you did. Kellen, help me. It's a lie. I'm not going to put my belly over here. Sometimes I'd like to move my belly, but okay. When I get home, I will blank my brother and sisters how to play this fun game. So what are we going to use? This one goes to Quinn. Quinn, when I get home, I will blank my brother and sisters, or just your sisters, how to play this game. I will teach or learn or taught. Teach or taught. I will teach. Good job. Look at this, folks. We have our whole paper finished. All you have to do is the front. That is horrific. Not horrific. That is wonderful. That is hooray. That's the word I was looking for. Hooray. That's right. That's something worth tooting your horn about. <laughs> That's right. Good job. Now, make sure you watch the spelling test video, today's spelling test day, and the phonics video, okay? Don't forget those two videos. And for the last time, phonics over and out. I am over and done with phonics, aren't you? Until next year, here we go. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Great job today. I miss you. I'm praying for you. Bye.